Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video, we found an equation that gives us V1 final in terms of all the initial velocities given the coefficient of restitution. What we're going to try to do here is find V2 final in terms of the initial velocities. And of course, the attempt will be the same or the method will be the same. However, once we find an equation for V1 final, we could potentially take this and substitute that into this equation right here and then solve for V2 final. We could do that. Or we can do the same as what we did before. We can solve this equation for V1 final and substitute it in here and then see what we get. And that's probably the easiest way to go. So let's do that instead. So let's first take this equation right here and solve for V1 final, which means that the coefficient restitution times the denominator v1 initial minus v2 initial is equal to v2 final minus v1 final. And then of course I'm going to solve this for v1 final, so move this to the left, move that to the right. So we have v1 final equals v2 final minus the coefficient restitution times v1 initial minus v2 initial. And we'll take this equation right here and we'll substitute that in v1 final over there and then let's see what we get to do that we continue over here with the equation so we have m1 v1 initial plus m2 v2 initial equals m1 times now we plug that in here which is v2 final minus the coefficient of restitution times v1 initial minus v2 initial that's the whole thing right here close the bracket so we substitute on v1 final plus m2 v2 final and now we have to solve that equation for v2 final hmm so how do we do that well we have an m1 v2 final here we have an m2 v2 final here and then let's move this to the left side so we have m1 v1 initial plus m2 v2 initial hmm, plus the coefficient of restitution times v1 initial minus v2 initial is equal to m1 v2 final plus m2 v2 final and then we can factor out a v2 final divide both sides by m1 plus m2 and notice we have done the following v2 final is equal to the left side equation which is m1 v1 initial plus m2 v2 initial plus i think i'm missing something here yes i forgot something plus m1 because m1 times this moves to the left so then plus m1 c the coefficient of restitution times v1 initial minus v2 initial like that and then the whole thing divided by m1 plus m2 and that will be v2 final now you would think that we end up with the same result as before notice that this is what we end up before so let's go ahead and circle that but let's compare we do have an m1 plus m2 in the denominator but here we have a negative m2 there we have a positive m1 and so that's the main difference between the two sure you would expect to have an m1 here and an m2 there but the negative here versus the positive there is quite different so it does matter which one you solve for for v1 final you end up with a negative there for v2 final you end up with a positive there for the numbers and the quantities to come out correct but that at least is how you find v1 final and v2 final when the coefficient restitution is known all in terms of the initial velocities and the masses of the two objects and that is how it's done